wishbone What's this you're dreaming of? Such big imagination On such a little bug What's the story, wishbone? Do you think it's worth a look? It kinda seems familiar Like a story from a book Shake a leg now, wishbone Let's wag another tail Sniffing out adventure with wishbone on the trail Come on wishbone What's the story wishbone? What's the story wishbone? What's the story wishbone? What's the story wishbone? <laughs> ah. And this is my chair. And this is me, talking. And aren't you lucky? You can hear me. Well, what were you expecting? A cat? <laughs> Please. These are my people. My boy, Joe, and his mother, Ellen. Hi, Mom. Hi, Joe. What are you doing? Well, you know, the neighborhood picnic is tomorrow, and this year it's my turn to say something about life in our neighborhood. So I'm writing about you and Wishbone. Oh, where's the part about me? Am I the hero of the story? So what are you up to? I don't know. I want to do something. Mm, you want to play basketball? Mm, no. Go swimming? No. You want to clean up your room? I'm just kidding. So, you don't want to do anything, but you do want to do something. How about feeding the dog? That's always a thrill. Mom, it's my last weekend to feed him before school starts. I want to do something exciting. Something different. Well, the picnic tomorrow will be fun. And if I play my cards right, the whole neighborhood will feed me. But that happens every year. Oh, I see. You're not looking for ordinary fun. You've kind of got an itch for something big. And I've kind of got an itch just behind this left ear, buddy. Oh, thank you. So you want an adventure. Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to find it in Oakdale. Whoop. Joe, where you going? If it's an adventure you want, Joe, I'll sniff it out for you. It's buried right here on this shelf. It's The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, written in 1876 by the American author Mark Twain. It's the story of a boy who doesn't have to go very far to dig up adventure. He finds it in his own small town on the Mississippi River. Tom Sawyer lives with his Aunt Polly. Sakes, that boy. Mm. I just can't let her catch me. There's too much to do today, besides chores. Adventure waits on the other side of this fence, and I am. afraid of nobody or nothing. Then, come be a pirate with me. What does pirates have to do? Well, pirates take ships and burn them and get the money. Then bury it in scary places on their island where there's ghosts to guard it. And sometimes, they sneak up on people and take them prisoner. And then they make them walk the plank. I reckon I can do all that. 
How do we get started? First, you gotta have a pirate name. Well, I don't know how pirates are called. Well, I'm called Tom Sawyer, the Black Avenger of the Spanish Main. And you'll be, let me think, Huck Finn the Red-Handed. Huck Finn the Red-Handed. I like it. So, how do I learn this pirate business anyway? Read it in books? Hmm, I might learn me to read now I know that there's books that tell about pirates. <laughs> We sail to Jackson Island at midnight! Wow. Somebody get that, please? Hi, Sam. Hey, Joe. Hi, Wishbone. Samantha! Love me! Pet me! Feed me! Hi, Sam. Hi, Mrs. Talbot. Joe, do you want to go to Jackson Park with David and me? Sure. Is it okay, Mom? Of course. Have fun. Have an adventure. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. I just need to put this in a safe place before we go. Okay, let's see here. Uh, that and that and that. All of you, stay. All right. Just make sure your adventure's over before dark. I need you home for dinner. Don't worry, Ellen. I always plan my adventures so I can be back before dinner. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mrs. Talbot. Bye-bye. Dog. Oh, hello, Samantha. Hi. Joe, I have just unearthed something that I know I didn't plant. That's my squeaky book! <laughs> you put that right back where you found it! Wishbone cannot just leave things in my yard. I'm sorry, Miss Gilmore. I, I wasn't going to leave it there. I was coming back for it. It was all very carefully planned. I will trust you to return this to its owner and... See that it doesn't happen again. No problem. Thank you, Joe. Hey, I'll see you guys at the picnic tomorrow. I I'm bringing my famous Mississippi mud pie, so you better save some room for dessert. <laughs> Bye. I'll hold on to this for now, Wishbone. Yeah, but I... But you... Uh, if Wanda can't keep her hands off my things, I'll have to look elsewhere for temporary storage. I made it. I did it. I made it to the 10th level. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, David. Hi, David. Can't talk. Okay. Uh, hmm. Can this thing be programmed for snack delivery? So, you guys ready to go? Yeah. I want to go to a place in the park where we haven't gone before. Where? Let's go to the no-name grave. Ooh, scary. You know, there's all kinds of stories about that grave. It's supposed to be haunted. But nobody knows who's buried there. Well, I heard it was someone who was murdered, and the murderer buried the body there. And now, the ghost can find no peace, because nobody knows who he was. So sometimes he comes out of the grave and tries to tell his story. But he is so horrible looking that whoever sees him drops dead immediately and gets sucked down into the grave. Wow. But nobody believes that, right? Right. Right. Of course not. So have you ever been to it? No. No. Well, let's go see it for ourselves. Hey, wait for me! It's an adventure, just like Tom and Huck on Jackson Island. Tom and Huck hid out on Jackson Island to be pirates. It was only three miles from home, but it seemed like another world. New game! I'm the captain, and I say it's time to roll in the leaves! <laughs> ah. I'll tell you, Huck, this is just the life for me. Pirates don't have to get up mornings and wash and all of that blame foolishness. I've never done any of that anyhow, even before I turned pirate. Tom. How you reckon we've been pirates? A day and a night. Think anybody misses us? You missing anybody, Huck? Of course not. Don't got nobody to miss. <gasps> What's that? Ain't thunder. Let's find out what it is. 
I know now. Somebody's drowned That's it. They done that last summer. When Bill Turner got drowned. Shot a cannon over the water, make him come up to the top. Huh. I know who's drowned it's us! Us? They think we're dead and drowned. We're heroes, Huck. We're famous. But we're dead. Only temporarily, Huckleberry Finn. Best kind of death is a temporary one. It's a dream come true. We are gathered here today to mourn the loss of Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer. We come with heavy hearts, for these boys were destined for greatness. Their goodness, their nobility, their promise is gone, loss to us forever. And we ask ourselves, if they were with us today, how could we treat them better? That's our cue, Huck. We ask ourselves, how could we have made their precious little lives a little easier? We ask ourselves. We... something. Put your heart into it. See what I mean, Huck? There's nothing like being alive at your own funeral. Okay, here we are. Let's go. Hope this ghost is a dog person. Whoa, that's deep. I say we go back home and have a snack. I think it's on the other side of this. How did we get across? I'll go first. One, two, three. I can't look! It's easy, come on! Did he make it? One. Ah, uh, Sam. Two, three! <laughs> David, you're supposed to be the practical one. Here we go. <laughs> Hello, people. Uh oh, we forgot wishbone. Looks like I'll have to find my own way across. Huh. I could go across the lawn. I'll just. Oh no! I was born close to the ground, and I'll stay close to the ground. Thank you very much. See? Going across. No problem. <laughs> Ew! Water. Okay, I'm up. I'm out. It's cool. Maybe we're at the wrong place. No. Just keep looking. Yeah. Maybe we should just forget about it. No. We can't quit now. Hey! 
That's right, Joe. The hero never rests. Tom had returned from the island, but grew restless again for something beyond the front porch. Why, shiver me timbers, it's Finn the Red-Handed. Tom, I got me a plan to get rid of my warts. Hmm, what's the plan? Well, gotta go to the graveyard. It's gotta be midnight. There's gotta be a fresh grave. And I just buried Haas William, so tonight's my chance. Ooh, what do you gotta do? Well, gotta go to the graveyard. And I gotta say, ghost in the graveyard, take my worst. I'm done with them. I gotta get rid of any wart. Well, that sounds right. Uh, wanna come along? I'll be there. It's awful solemn. It'll be midnight soon. I'll get rid of my warts, and we'll be done with it. Whoa. What's that? Do you reckon it's ghosts? Why, it's Monk Potter, for sure. And, and Crazy Joe. And, and Doc Robinson. Hurry up, Joe. The moon might come out at any moment. Pay me some more, and then I'll see if I can hurry. What do you mean by that? Five years ago, you drove me out of your kitchen when I come to ask for something to eat. You said I wasn't there for no good. I swore then I'd get even with you, even if it took me a hundred years. Now I've got you, and you've got to settle, you know. <laughs> Hit my partner. Joe? What'd you do it for? Hide. I never done it. Well, if you can't take it back now. Tell me, Joe, now. Honest now. Did I do it? Mm -hmm. I, I never meant to. Tell me how it was, Joe. Tell me. Two of you were scuffling and, uh, he fetched you one with a headboard, and you fell flat. And then up you come, you, you snatched the knife and jammed it into him. Oh. And then you, you both fell to the ground. Oh, I, I didn't know what I was doing. It, it, it was all on account of that whiskey. I, I never used a weapon in my life before, yeah, Joe. What's done is done. Joe, don't tell. Say so you won't tell. Yeah. You won't tell when you're talking. You now mean, stop your blubbering. So... Take no time. You go off yonder, and I'll go the other way. Move now. <laughs> you can live with that war, Huck Finn. Let's get out of here. Ooh, ooh. Huckleberry, what do you think will come of this? I reckon a hanging will come of it. If we was to squeak about this, and Crazy Joe didn't hang for it, 
He come after us. Tom, we gotta swear to each other to keep Mom. All right. Repeat after me. I swear to keep Mom about this night. I swear to keep Mom about this night. And may I drop down dead in my tracks if I ever tell, and, and rot. And may I drop down dead in my tracks if I ever tell and rot. Okay. Um, now we gotta shake on it. Uh-huh. And, uh, now we gotta turn around in a circle three times to seal it. One. Oh, yeah. Uh, two. Uh, three. Wishbone, look. Hey, guys, I think I found it. Someone's been digging here. Who'd want to dig up a grave? Well, whoever it is likes salami and rye. Wishbone, no. I think whoever's been digging is coming back. Let's wait. What? Do you think they'll mind that I finish their sandwich? I don't know. It's getting kind of late. Yeah, and what if they don't want company? We'll hide. They don't have to know we're here. Come on. Don't you guys want to know what's going on? Okay. Okay. Where do we hide? Over there. We should be able to see from here. Hope we don't see anything we don't want to see, like Tom and Huck. At the trial of Muff Potter, only Tom, Huck, and Crazy Joe knew what had really happened in the graveyard. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, sir, I do. Joe, you were at the graveyard on the 17th of June at midnight? Yes. So you saw the defendant stab the young Dr. Robinson with this knife? Yes, sir. Uh, sad to say I did. The defendant has admitted that this knife, the murder weapon, belonged to him. Is this the knife that you saw him use? Sir, as I'm sitting here, that is the very knife. No further questions, Your Honor. Court will declare a recess and will resume after lunch. Can't stand it. It's not right. We gotta let the cat out of the bag. But Tom, he swore. What about Crazy Joe? Think what he'd do to us. Your Honor, in our remarks at the opening of this trial, we said that it was our purpose to prove that our client did this fearful deed while under influence of drink. We have changed our mind. We will not enter this plea. I call Thomas Sawyer to the stand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Uh, I do. Tom Sawyer, where were you on the 17th of June, about the hour of midnight? I was, uh, <clears throat> I was in the graveyard. A little bit louder, please. And don't be afraid. In the graveyard? You happy now? Were you anywhere near Haas Williams' grave? Yes, sir. Anyone with you? Yes, sir. Well, we will produce your companion at the proper time. 
Why were you there in the graveyard at midnight? Do I have to say? Speak up, my boy. Never be ashamed of the truth. Um, <clears throat> to cure warts? <laughs> Now, tell us what you saw that night. I saw... I saw the murder, but it wasn't Muff Potter, did it? Then who, my boy? It... It was Crazy Joe! He jumped in with that knife, and he... Uh-oh. I'm a dead dog. If I can just get a closer look. I mean, hey, curiosity killed the cat, not the dog, right? Whoops! Uh-oh. Hi there, I'm a ghost dog just checking up on this grave. <laughs> get away from here! Don't hurt my dog! <laughs> 